All right, so I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. This is one of my least used lenses and I've owned it for five years. It's such a specialty lens that I only find myself using it when I really wanna dial in on the details like a wedding or when I want that extra compression or reach for portraits at an event. But most of the time, because of the way I shoot, I feel that I can just get the same results with my 33 millimeter 1.4 WR since I can zoom with my feet or focus close enough to a subject where the details of the environment aren't lost. But before we get into the rest of the video, if you're new here, my name's Tim DeGrasa and I'm a photographer and filmmaker with a passion for documentary storytelling. On this channel, you'll get to see my work with and hear my thoughts on gear I use to tell stories. All right, so just a quick disclosure, y'all. I bought this lens with my own money and no one has reviewed or approved this video before I'm releasing it to y'all, especially not Fuji. But besides my shooting style, another reason the 80 millimeter macro is my least used lens is because it's such a big and heavy lens compared to the rest of Fuji's primes, while not offering much value beyond its intended purpose. Basically, I lug around an additional 1.65 pounds just to have the opportunity to take macro shots or have a semi-telephoto lens. So investing in a lens like this means that you must need it for special occasions, such as capturing macro shots of details at a wedding or because you're shooting an event and need to capture speech without being too close to the speaker. And I have to admit it, those were my reasons that I got this lens, but as my work shifted and I developed my documentary style of shooting, I realized that I don't need this lens as much as I thought even if it does impress. It's razor sharp, produces a life-size image of macro subjects at minimum focusing distance, and is really just a top tier lens. Anyway, I'd love to just take this time to show you some of my favorite photos I've taken with this lens. I hope you enjoyed those photos. If this video helped you out and you wanna see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.